Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the X-Deep Zen Stainless Steel Standard BCD. So this is a, a very clever backplate and wing system. It's got that stainless steel backplate, so it's got that trim weight to it, but it's in a very unique X-shaped pattern, so it's a bit more comfortable. The sort of DIR style harness, it's not quite a single piece harness, but it's the next closest thing. And the way they've set it up with the waistband is very, very clever. So you still have plenty of room to get in and out of it, but when you're actually in it and then do up that waistband, it's really strong and secure. Let's take a closer look. Ooh, right, so this is how it arrives. A big cardboard box, very environmentally friendly, big X deep on the front. Uh, you've got the barcodes and the serial number on the side, uh, and that's about it really. Inside of the box, things you need to know. Please open this envelope before using the equipment. Uh, so user manual and the usual bits and bobs, I imagine. Um, stickers as well, very important. Um, brief user manual, um, just how to use it basically in a few different languages. So read through that, um, stick your stickers. Um, Facebook group there's information about because now you're part of the uh, the NX series uh, group. Put those to one side. Uh, X deep tissue paper <clears throat> protecting the BCD underneath. Pretty well fully assembled. All you have to do is uh, is adjust it to your shape and size. Um, comes with an inflator hose as well, which is nice. So you can attach that to your regulator. At the bottom of the box, a smaller box with tank band with plastic buckle. Uh, so it comes with a pair of cam bands. Uh, so you can attach your, your cylinders and two parallel bands just to stop it from twisting and turning. So that's quite nice. Uh, let's take a closer look at the BCD itself. Okay, so starting at the top of the BCD. So in the center, uh, you can see this is uh, one of the sort of mainstays of the NX series is that the inflator kind of roots straight into the bladder. Uh, when you flip it over, you might be able to see it a little bit better, but it means that there's no elbow um, and it's in kind of the perfect position and it's nice and streamlined as well for airflow. And that goes straight into the corrugated hose. You've got a little uh, sort of rubbery retainer to hold that uh, inflator hose nice and neat and tidy. Down the corrugated hose, on the, uh, the left-hand shoulder strap, you have this uh, sort of tough, rubbery um, sort of loop just to hold that uh, sort of corrugated hose in the right position over your left-hand shoulder. It's held in position by a tri-glider, so you can move that around depending on where you want it on that left-hand shoulder strap. Down, we get another uh, retainer just to hold that uh, sort of inflator hose in position, and then down to the inflator itself. Traditional K-style inflator, nothing overly fancy, does the job, plastic buttons, you've got inflate, deflate, or inflate. Down to the shoulder straps. Uh, so this is just traditional two inch webbing. Um, it's got decent stiffness, but it's not the stiffest of the stiff. Um, and then we go down to the first pre-bent stainless steel D-ring over your left hand shoulder. Again, this is all customizable, so you can move that up and down depending on where you want it over your shoulders. Pretty similar on the right hand shoulder strap. Uh, you get a, a pre-bent D-ring just so that it just lifts away from the straps and when you're clipping onto it, uh, it's just a little bit easier. And again, you can move that up and down. These straps go down to the bottom of the back plate. So you actually have plenty of space to actually get in and out from it. This is the first clever change that X-Deep have done. Uh, and I'll go into that a little bit further when we talk about the waistband. But actually behind your shoulders, you have this padded section um, and that's just where it's touching the back of your shoulders, especially if you're diving somewhere nice and warm. You don't want the solid metal back plates against your sort of shoulder blades. This just makes it a bit softer, a bit more comfortable um, without adding too much bulk to your entire sort of back plate or too much weight to it. 
Back plate itself, you can see is kind of skeletonized, so it's cut out sections. This is the small medium version, so it's a little bit shorter, the back plate, um, and it's also the stainless steel version, so it's adding some trim weight. Uh, you do have that recess uh, into the, uh, underneath there, so if you do want to fit a weight uh, into that, you can. Moving down the BCD, so your shoulder straps go down, uh, I will note they do have another retainer, so for your torch or something, you can clip it off and hold it nice and close to the harness. But the harness for the shoulder strap goes down towards the very bottom of the back plate, and then it zips back up again about an inch or two before it becomes your waistband. So with that, you have all this extra space to be able to get your shoulders and your arms through, but then when you actually do up the waistbands, it actually overlaps that shoulder strap and actually sort of tightens it in. So it, it really sort of does the shoulder straps up as well as the waistband, which is pretty clever. On your left hand side, you have a straight stainless steel D ring. Uh, so that's for your gauges. Again, it's on tri glider, so you can move it backwards and forwards. And then you have a stainless steel quick release buckle uh, for the other side of the waistband. Down to the bottom of the back plate. Uh, this is where you can see it's much shorter than the, the larger version, which typically goes a bit further, but you still have this Y or V shaped crotch strap, attaches at two points at the back. You have straight D rings at the bottom there, one on the left, one on the right. So you do have full control and you have sort of extra attachment points in the small of your back. Two sort of Y-shaped crotch strap, just makes it a bit more comfortable. And then that leads up to the front, single stainless steel uh, D-ring on the front for your DPV. And then you have a, a pretty traditional loop on the front uh, so you can attach it over the waistband. Below that, with the uh, the bladder, you have a kidney dump on your left-hand side, so you control all your buoyancy on your left-hand side. And if I flip it over, you can see again, we have the um, that sort of NX series uh, up at the top where the inflator goes straight into the top. There's no elbow, so reducing failure points and the airflow goes straight into the wing. There's no angles and relatively low volume up around your neck. So when you're in the water, most of the buoyancy is down towards your hips. So that's holding you in a nice position in the water. When it's fully inflated, it's gonna cradle your tank pretty well, stopping your tank from rolling and moving. But also you also have this stainless steel uh, adapter, single tank adapter, which acts as a, a rigid cradle. You have two parallel slots for both cam bands, one at the top, one at the bottom. That's bolted onto the back plate through the wing, kind of sandwiching everything together. So you're very strong and secure. But on the outside, you have this protective shell, which is protecting the internal bladder. So even if you do brush against something, most of the time you're just gonna brush past it. If it is sharp, you've got this abrasion resistant outer shell that's gonna protect it. If you rip through that, you still have the internal bladder that it has to get through to be able to, um, to sort of affect your buoyancy. You have a zipper around the inside, so you can open up this internal shell, get to that internal bladder, replace it or patch it as you need to. Okay, so that's the X Deep NX series Zen BCD with the stainless steel back plate and the DIR standard harness. Um, so this is really for divers who want to dive at home. They want a back plate and wing style system. They want it to be comfortable. They want it to be quite modern. Um, and it, it does that very, very well. As far as travel, this is heavy. Um, this was actually over the five kilo limit of my scales uh, with that stainless steel back plate. And this is the small version as well. So there's even less metal to it. Uh, so as far as a traveling BCD, I'd probably go down the aluminium backplate route instead of the stainless steel. But if you're diving at home uh, and that sort of additional weight isn't such an issue, you do want to take some lead off of your weight belt, then yeah, definitely consider the stainless steel. It's a very strong mounting point. And then on from that, what you can do is just remove that wing and then fit the project wing or something so you can bolt some twins onto it. Very adaptable. 
almost one size fits all because you can adjust each of those straps to your perfect shape and size definitely worth considering. There's going to be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. Just click on the link down in the description below. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.